Hey guys, uh, check this clip out. You're gonna love it. A 23 years old girl who made her first million dollar after her father's transition because she believed that he was helping her out has a story to tell. If you don't know what they're talking about, then, then it could be a difficult pill to swallow. I advise you to listen to this in a quiet environment using headphones or earphones will maximize your pleasure. Enjoy this audio and chill. I am ready to be ready. <laughs> I have a couple of questions about a universal forces and readiness. When I was 22, my father died, he transitioned, and I started a new company after that, and within a year I made my first million dollars, and he always held my, his vision of me as an entrepreneur as very successful. And I've always wondered what, um, oh, sorry. Of course. Yes. Of course. I, I wonder what part he's played in that. Our friend talked about her support group. And so that's the part that your father is playing in that. But not just your father. All the buddies he's hanging around with too. That's what we are wanting you to feel from our powerful knowing is that there's so much non-physical attention and absolute expectation as we are holding our readiness for your readiness for your readiness for your readiness. <gasps> In other words, when you tap into that and it enhances your expectation, you got a little more ready to allow, you see. And the nice thing about having dear ones depart is that for a little while, it enhances your expectation. You know what happens? It clashes so often with what you've also learned and perceived from others that you're supposed to do it on your own and you're supposed to make your own way and that you're the one that has to do it. And so that clashes with this harmony of non-physical energy that's assisting you. That's why we always emphasize that we're all in this together. The energy that creates worlds is flowing to you and through you. But sometimes it's easier for you to expect your father who you knew loved you and your father who you knew held you as his object of attention, it's easier for you to expect that help because of your association with him than it might be for someone who was not making that association with anyone. Stay there for just a moment. But then think about those who have people around them that expect nothing good from them, but they are enamored with what they are observing and their inner being is like you know your father to be, interested in you, focused upon you, flowing ideas to you, holding the vision of what he knows you're ready for. You're ready for what you're ready for what you're ready for what you're ready for what you're ready. But your inner being sees the whole shebang. Your inner being knows how it all fits together. Your inner being knows what the cooperative components are that's around you. Your inner being knows your proximity to anything that will bring pleasure to you. Your inner being knows the path, you see. And so when you are able to set aside things that are bothering you and be ready to feel good, be ready for satisfaction, then it's just a never ending journey of ideas and opportunities and concepts flowing and co-creation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I've been listening to you for years and years and when I fall back into doubt or looping, I'm so hard on myself. Or it is, and it, so it almost takes me longer. No, wait, you're not hard on yourself. What's happening is it's hard on you to not be with yourself. You're not hard on yourself. This is not a self-punishing mechanism. This is what it feels like to step away from who you really are. Ooh. <laughs> and so there's no self-punishment to inflict. It's just for a moment you went back in time. For a moment you remembered something that happened before. For a moment you focused upon something that clashes with what you now know. You see, this is the thing. <sighs> so we've been talking to you all for years and years, as you say, about contrast causes you to launch rockets of desire, which creates this vortex of creation where your inner being stands. And so your inner being is activated and flowing energy about all things that are important to you, some of which you're ready for now. 
Now, if we have ever given you the impression that we think you should be ready for all of it now, then we've given you the wrong impression because that would be an avalanche of life experience that would be so overwhelming you'd jump off a bridge. But your inner being has the capacity to be focused upon all aspects of your desire. So it's active and law of attraction is summoned to it. And so all of that creation is happening. It's gestating, ready for you to be ready. So the happier you are, the more you're ready for. Have you noticed that sometimes you're bored and you're ready for more activity and sometimes you're overwhelmed and you're happy for less activity? There's no right or wrong to the way that you live your life. You've carved out the perfect vortex and you're adding to it all day, every day. And your inner being is holding that perfect vibration, just like you understand that your father was doing for you on a specific subject and flowing the knowing of that. Talk about a support group, talk about a knowledge bank, talk about a well-being bank, talk about an inevitable, never ending stream of well-being and to differing degrees, you're ready to be ready. Some people you see aren't that ready and they're miserable and it's obvious. Some people you see are ready and it's obvious because they're glowing or because they're happy or because they're performing or because they're dancing or because they're flying or because they're whatevering. It's obvious, isn't it? It's obvious to see with anyone that you observe, especially if you are in alignment, if they're ready to be ready. And here's the thing that we want you to hear. You don't ever have to be, nor will you ever be able to be ready for everything that's in your vortex. So therefore we're just doing a little sales job so you won't be hard on yourself. And knowing that we believe will keep you from getting crossways because getting crossways of that energy, especially for you, it's about having a vision of something and wanting to move faster to it than you are ready for. It would be like, you'll relate to this because you go to the movies. It would be like being in outer space in weightlessness and then coming back into your earth's atmosphere and having to come slowly. It would be like deciding that you're going to go deep sea diving and going very slowly into the greater and greater depths, allowing your physiology to adjust to the different pressures and so forth. So sometimes you want to be ready for something that you're not ready for. And that's not ever going to happen. Law of attraction doesn't allow that to happen. But if you are satisfied with where you are and eager for more, then that's the formula for happily ever after. Yes, I have this question that occurred to me this morning, this analogy, it's very quick, of I had demanifested millions and millions of dollars and I still have a lot of money flowing in and out of my experience, obviously, but it feels like it's enough or like a little bit more than enough. And so I keep feeling like, almost like, I'm just trying to get back to the point that I was almost like when you get in a car accident, all of that effort and work is just to get your car back into the shape that it used to be. And I know that that analogy is not serving me Yeah. and I'm really ready to let it go. So here, let us give you something that will serve you. So ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. It's an interesting thing because sometimes in a moment in time, you, for whatever reason, because whatever confluence of vibrational alignment you were able to accomplish, maybe from the influence of others around you, you were ready for something to manifest that didn't stay in your experience. Well, you know, the two analogies that we've given, it's understanding the difference between the gathering up of the physical fortune and understanding your vibrational currency because your vibrational currency has the potential of becoming whatever you want it to be. And so we know, you know, that attention to something that was, that now isn't keeps you from being ready to be ready. It just does. And so what we've noticed with so many is that if you can focus upon your right now access and receiving access, meaning it's potentially there receiving, meaning you're ready for it for the vibrational currency. That vibrational currency is what it's all about. Vibrational currency is you hooking into the, for the sake of this conversation, the bank account called source energy, or you hooking into the vibrational currency of your own inner being. So you just have to make that adjustment in your mind. Sometimes you make it awkwardly by saying things like, oh, well, you can't buy that sunset. 
There's not enough money in the world to buy that sunset, so I'm rich. And another part of your mind is saying, yeah, but you don't really feel that way. And so it's about finding some way of making those bridges. So we're asking something that's pretty interesting of you. We're asking you to hold a vision of what you want, but not put so much attention upon it that it messes you up in your connection now. That's the balance. And it's a balance that you accomplish most often and occasionally you're not able to hold. It's all right. You're accomplishing it most of the time. Did you hear that? In light of what we've just been talking about, trying to move too fast to a manifestation that you are right now not a vibrational match to makes you feel uncomfortable. But may we emphasize to you in a way that you will really hear it. The time distance. How you doing out there? When we talk about ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready, we're talking about your vibrational readiness. We're not talking about distance in time. And that vibrational readiness from ready to be ready to be all the way over there could be a day. It could be half an hour. We're not trying to get you to wait a long time for your manifestations. We're just wanting you to be ready for what you're ready for and find the satisfaction in what you're ready for. And the better you are at that, then the faster the other comes. But we don't want it to be about speed because we don't want you to need to be over there to feel good. We want what's over here to be enough for you. How do you stand what feels like contradictions to you when we say you are the creator of your own reality and then we say don't think too much about it because you've already thought about it and you've already put it into the vortex. When we say to you, you've already created your reality and it's a vibrational reality that you must be ready for in order to let it in. We like that you're getting that and then today we're taking it further by saying what's manifesting is all that you are ready for so you have to prepare your readiness and the way to do that is not by working hard it's not by thinking hard it's not by trying hard it's by not beating up on yourself it's by giving yourself the benefit of the doubt it's by looking for the positive aspects it's by trying to find satisfaction where you are no matter what it's by praising rather than criticizing every opportunity that you get it's by looking for well-being everywhere you can see it even though there might be an avalanche of it that seems it's coming at you that's not well-being it's about being determined to find satisfaction in this moment and once you've got that oh the moments that you're gonna have happily ever after really good time for a segment of refreshment